Hey guys, bringing you another do-it-yourself computer video today. I have an Asus laptop here. And the problem I'm going to be showing you how to fix in this video is what we're going to call a, a boot loop fix. Uh, this is where you turn your computer on, it powers up, you see that initial startup logo screen, and then something happens. Either your computer shuts down and restarts over and over again in a loop, uh, maybe it just gets stuck loading, Maybe you see that warning diagnosing PC and it just gets stuck there. Anything that happens between that logo screen and Windows loading up, uh, that's the troubleshooting process that I'm going to show you today. Um, if your computer is not turning on at all, um, or if your computer shuts down and restarts or freezes before that initial logo screen, look down in the description. That's a computer won't turn on fix video. That's a separate issue and a separate fix. Uh, also, if your computer turns on, you can hear the hard drive engage, you can hear the motherboard clicks, maybe the fan turns on, but your screen stays black, that's the black screen fix video down below. So those are separate problems. Uh, we're only dealing with today the problem described at the beginning of the video. Now the first thing you want to do if your computer is not booting up, uh, remove all external devices. Remove your flash drives, your USBs, your CDs, remove everything from your computer try to boot up again. Uh, sometimes what happens is your computer tries to boot off of these devices and, and it can't and it gets stuck. So first and foremost, try that as step number one. Step number two, it's possible that this error is having to do with your BIOS or your base system. So I'm, I'm going to shut the computer down and show you how to access BIOS. Now in order to access BIOS on most ASUS model laptops, you're going to hit power and immediately start tapping on delete. Um, if that doesn't work for you, first make sure your computer is all the way off. Sometimes they just hibernate. So if you have to, unplug your charger, remove your battery, make sure it's off, and then put them back. Uh, but most ASUS laptops are delete. If, you, if that's not working, try your other function keys. So power, start tapping on delete right away. And there's our BIOS. Uh, don't get freaked out if your BIOS looks a little different than mine. Based on the year of your computer and the model, they could look different, but all the information will be here. Under my main tab, I have my system date, system time right here. So if that needs to be corrected, correct it, save and exit, start your computer booting up again. If your date and time is wrong in BIOS, it can cause all sorts of errors starting up. Uh, a, a lot of errors are caused by this and people don't even know it. So uh, that will be your first step here in BIOS. If that doesn't work and your computer's still in this boot loop situation, this is the next thing that we're going to change. We're going to look for options to switch between legacy and UEFI. Sometimes legacy will be listed as CSM. So we're list, looking for legacy or CSM and UEFI. So I don't see anything on my main sheet. It's usually not on your main page. I'm going to arrow over to advanced. I don't see anything here. I'm going to arrow over again. Now I'm on boot. And there we go. UEFI boot enabled. So again, you're looking for legacy CSM or you're looking for UEFI. So there it is. Now long explanation short, whether your computer is set to UEFI or whether your computer is set to legacy or CSM, depends on how your operating system was installed. Um, and you obviously won't know that, so that's why we're just going to change whatever it is to whatever it's not. So right now I'm on UEFI, I'm going to change to Legacy, and if you're on Legacy, you're going to change to UEFI. You're going to go to whichever one you're not on. So right now I'm on UEFI enabled, I'm going to hit enter, I'm going to disable it. Now again, based on your version of BIOS, that may have been a different process. You may have a drop down menu to select legacy. Uh, you may have to enable legacy first. Sometimes the computer doesn't like you going over to legacy, in which case you have to go to security and disable secure boot. Save and exit, try to boot up again. Now if that doesn't help and your computer is still in this boot loop situation, then we've ruled out any external devices We've also ruled out BIOS. Now we're going to try to identify whether it's your operating system or it's your hardware. So at this point, uh, check out the video link below in the description. It, there'll be a link for how to reinstall Windows onto your ASUS computer. Uh, try that. 
if Windows loads fine and your computer runs smoothly, then that meant that it was an operating system error. Somehow your operating system just became corrupt and now you fixed it by the reinstall. If the installation does not go through and it keeps airing out, it could possibly mean that your hard drive is bad. At that point, we've probably identified your hardware as the issue. Switch out your hard drive, install a new one. There'll be a video link below on how to install a hard drive into a computer. And then once you put a new hard drive in, then install your operating system onto that. So we've taken you through a couple different things here. Uh, you will be able to fix this issue. Don't worry about it. This is one of the easier fixes in computer world. Um, if you have any questions or comments, if anything was weird, if you saw something on your end that, that you didn't see here, uh, check the frequently asked questions in the description. Um, if you don't see it there, leave me a message. I try to get back to you guys a few times a day. Uh, please like and share if this helped. And if you enjoyed do-it-yourself computer work, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.